Hi, this is Melissa, and I just thought it would be fun and helpful to do a pretty short little video on what to do once you get your um, premium starter kit with essential oils from Young Living. And so just maybe you went to a classroom, maybe you didn't, you don't remember, you need a refresher. So here we go. So I just got a new starter kit in the mail a couple days ago. And so I'm going to open it and talk about just a few things like safety, how to use the oils, and then a few uses for each of the starter kit oils. Okay, let's get started. So here I go. I got, um, here's the oil box. And inside, I also have, I'm going to put my big box here, a cool newsletter that Young Living gives every month, The Essential Edge. I got the Desert Mist Diffuser, a catalog. This is so fun. I just like looking at it and looking at all the, oh, beautiful makeup, cooking stuff, skincare, and then just reading through all the oils and blends, single vitality. Okay, so that is so handy to see what you want to order next. And then you'll also get oops, um, a magazine. So let's open up the oil box. Here we go. I'm going to make sure that I'm talking loud enough so you can hear. Okay. So I'm going to uncover it. No, we don't need the plastic. Take off that part. And then you have the box. So beautiful. Open it up. Ooh, and there you go. Your 10 everyday oils, oops, right here. This little pouch has some great information um, about uses for all the oils. Don't forget to read that. Okay. There they are, the 10 everyday oils. And then, so many people don't know, there's something under here. Goodies under here. Okay. These are little sample vials. Um, I like them for travel to keep in my purse or to give someone a few, several drops in. Or if you have like only the starter kit and you have two story or three story houses and you want to keep lavender oil downstairs and upstairs, you could put some in here and take it upstairs. Just an idea. Um, in here you have two samples of Ningxia Red. This is a powerful antioxidant, uh, antioxidant drink made out of wolf berries or like goji berries. Put them in the refrigerator because they kind of taste best cold, but it, you don't have to. Um, this is a whole nother class talking about those. This is awesome, awesome. Good for anyone, even young kids. And don't forget down here is another oil um, stress away. Um, also, there's just like this little black cap and a roller ball. So what you can do is open up Stress Away, and this is with mine already. Um, you take off the little white orb real easy with your fingernail and then snap in this. So then you can just put on mm, Stress Away anytime. I keep this in my purse. I'm applying it in the car when I'm a little bit stressed from traffic or running late or anything going on in my life um, and I keep it on hand. You don't have to put this on stress away. You can pick any of the oils that you want to, but that's a good choice. You also get this lovely pouch of Thieves Household Cleaner. My second favorite product after the oils, the cleaner. It can clean everything. So this probably can make two glass jars. Let me grab my spray bottle. Okay, coming back. So this glass spray bottle, you can probably put um, half of this and fill the rest with water and then clean everything, counters, sinks, toilets, um, mirrors, glass, carpet, the list goes on. I'll put this over here. Okay. So that is what's in the starter kit. And now I'm just going to talk a little, we'll go back to all of the oils in just a second. So what are essential oils? Maybe you don't know. Well, they're the most powerful part of the plant. They have so many cool, powerful, 
powerful properties, constituents that um, I would love to share about, but I want to keep this kind of short. So please research that. Um, they're the aromatic components that are distilled or cold pressed from flowers, trees, shrubs, resins, um, roots even, bushes. They are so highly concentrated and very potent. So you just need one or two or three drops for any application, okay? All right, so safety. Let's talk about safety. Um, first of all, dilute if you need to. Um, please read the label. On the label, it will say if you need to dilute it. And you can scroll back the um, label sticky and then there's more directions okay so read that um it's always good to start diluting your oils and see how your skin feels if you already know you have a real sensitive skin then dilute it um, also with children you definitely want to dilute so what do i mean by diluting that means diluting it the essential oils with a carrier oil carrier oil carries the oil on your body and dilutes it um, also doesn't let it absorb as quickly. So some of my favorite carrier oils are fractionated coconut oil. That means it's always liquid. Um, I also love almond oil. Great for the skin is jojoba oil. It's a little bit more expensive. It's good for like an eye serum or face serum. Um, sesame oil. Um, grapeseed oil. You could also use avocado oil. Um, olive oil, so it's those, you're cooking greasier oils. So, dilute it if you need to. Um, if you ever feel like a warmness or burning when you put an essential oil on, like with peppermint, then just grab your uh, um, carrier oil and put it on wherever it hurts. One time I thought I was putting um, frankincense on my face, but I was putting something else um, that has eucalyptus in it and I did not dilute and it was burning. I had coconut oil under my sink and I just quickly put it on my eyes around, I mean, not in it, around it, and in a minute I was fine. So don't put water because that will drive the essential oil deeper into your skin and burn more, but put a carrier oil, okay? Avoid putting any essential oils on your in your eyes or ears or sensitive areas um, and use citrus oil safely. And so what I mean by that is that they're photosensitive. You can get a sunburn if you Put lemon oil all over your face and go out in um, around town or in the sun. So um, apply if you want to apply citrus oil. There's like lots of blends. Even Stress Away has lime in it, so uh, you could burn with it. So put it in places that are not exposed to the skin. I put it on my wrist a lot, behind my ears or my neck, or my hair is covered up. That's fine. Also. When you're adding citrus oils to water to drink, do not use plastic. It will eat away at the plastic. The plastic will get in your water bottle and you'll be drinking it. So please always use glass or stainless steel. Okay, so let's talk about the three ways to use Young Living essential oils. Number one is aromatically. So just open the bottle and smell. That's aromatically, right? Um, you can also put a drop on a cotton ball and smell it or give it to your child to smell uh, or to put somewhere. Um, just place a drop on your hand and inhale. Um, I have, let's see here it is, nasal inhalers. Looks like this, this little plastic thing you could buy. I buy some on Amazon and it has holes here. Ah, oh, just smell. But basically underneath this cap is a um, cotton wick that you place essential oils on and it stays smelly for at least a month and it has a cap in your closet. So if you're kind of stuffy or something, seasons changing and things are affecting your smell, it's good. That's another way. Okay. But, and the best and fun, most fun way, of course, is diffusing. And so um, you got a diffuser in your, your starter kit. So diffusing is great. Let me just tell you how to do it. Okay. So take off the top. Then there's another top and you're just going to fill this with water. Filtered water might be best, but I use tap water too, um, about to there. And then you just simply put in four to eight drops of whatever oil you want or a combination. Um, 
you know, test it out. I think when you first start, you want to put less strokes so it's not overpowering or you're not used to it. But if you ever feel like it's too strong, just pour a little out and put some plain water in and it'll be less. Um, and if you in a big room, um, you might not be able to smell it so much. You could put more um, essential oils. Just kind of play around with it. Have fun. And then so after you put your water and essential oil drops, put this lid back on. There's like a little notch. It kind of has to go in. And then this lid. And then you push the on button. And mine's not plugged in. And then it will go. It's so easy. Okay. So that's um, aromatically. I have almost a diffuser in every room. You might want to work up to that. It's so handy. Um, or just take it around <laughs> wherever you are. Another way you can use um, essential oils are topically. So you just place one to three drops directly wherever the issue is. Okay. Um, one way, emotion, your emotional part would be like on your wrists, on your ears. Um, I like to put on my chest, neck, behind my ears, even the spine. That's a good place so you breathe in and you could smell if you, you know, the essential oil. Your feet are an excellent spot to put essential oils as well because they have the um, biggest pores so they absorb really quickly. Um, it's kind of fun to look at the, I have a diagram here, the Vita flex points of your foot. It corresponds to a part of your body. Um, you can just Google that and look at that find that up anywhere and so you can if your spleen was hurting where was the spleen I always think that's a funny um let's say your stomach was hurting you put it on the outside um of your the bottom part outside of your foot um something like that um and when I put it on topically again most of the time I'm diluting it um then it my oils essential oils last longer and um, I'm just careful too. Okay, so when you put it on topically, how should you do that though? Just drop it on? Yes, like if you have a roller ball, like on Stress Away. Um, you can buy these type of roller ball bottles. The silver top is not on when you first get it. So you'd put in maybe like 10 to 20 drops of an essential oil. You could blend a couple. There's all these great recipes. It's fun for different reasons. And then you fill the rest up with a carrier oil. Like we said, coconut oil, fractionated here, almond, whatever you want. And then you snap that um, top on, and then you just roll it on anywhere that you need to apply the oil. Okay, so what if you don't have these yet? Um, well, sometimes I get just like a little bowl. I put in a squirt of the oil, a carrier oil, and then my essential oil, I drop that in and then rub, kind of mix it up and then put it wherever I need to. But you don't even have to be that fancy. You could, let's say, um, again, I'll make a little, I get my kind of oil ready. Let's say I want to put on some stress weight. Mm. I'm not really stressed right now, but it's a great scent right now. So I just squirt a little bit of carrier oil in my palm and then put a couple drops of essential oil in there, kind of rub it in, and then apply it just like that, wherever the need is. Hmm, maybe behind my back in my chest. I think I got a little too much. <laughs> okay, um, right back. I need to wipe that off. Okay, on, on word. So that's topically. And the last way is internally. You can take essential oils internally. You can put it in a, a drop in a glass of water, or I put it in my stainless steel water bottle every day. Um, lemon, spearmint, um, orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemongrass, peppermint, um, all of the vitality oils, which are the white labels you're able to put in, um, take internally. And I, as I said before, these are ways to use Young Living Oils. I don't trust any other ones um, using internally. I've done my research. Um, we could talk about that later too. Um, you can put your Vitality Essential Oils in coffee, in tea, in your Ningxia Red, your yogurt. You can bake with them and cook with them. It's so much fun. 
Um, or you can get empty vegetable capsules and put a couple drops of your essential oil for the reasons you need it. Maybe a little a drop or two of olive oil and then you can swallow it and you'll get the benefits. Um, so all of the white labeled oils are for internal use. And if you're not sure, like um, frankincense is a colored bottle, but it actually can be internal and so is lavender. In your catalog, you can go, or online, you can go to the vitality section and just look through there of what um, is, okay, internal waste. There's the vitality section and flip through that part. Okay, so let's talk about, I'm going to give you a few uses for each of the oils in the starter kit. There are so many, it's hard to just pick a few, but I don't want this to be super long. Okay, just to get you started. So, your handy um, quick reference guide um, that you probably have or an app can help you get more uses, okay? So do your research. So let's first talk about lavender. Lavender can be topical, aromatic, um, or internally, and it's so safe that you can use it on your children. You don't have to dilute it. It can go on um, without a carrier oil. That's called neat. Um, it can be um, definitely, when I think of lavender, I think of calmness. It helps you relax. It gives you a worry-free outlook. I, I really lately have loved lavender as my go-to in my diffuser by my bedside table. Um, and lavender blends really well with lemon, peppermint, Copaiba, frankincense, citrus fresh, almost all the starter kit oils. Um, lavender is a great skin oil or a first aid oil. Um, it helps most skin issues. It cleanses and, and soothes minor skin irritations. Uh, think of too much sun, itchy skin. You know, it's great to just add a drop to your nightly or morning um, moisturizer for your face. And it can even reduce the appearance of blemishes and enhance your to be more youthful um, and it supports aging skin. So this is a must. This I almost have to get every month. That's just a few uses. Oh, I love making lavender lemonade. Okay, let's talk about lemon. Lemon essential oil, um, it's definitely internal, topically, and aromatic. So I like to diffuse this because it is, it gives an energizing aroma. It also helps me focus but it's also invigorating. And it has an up uplifting aroma for occasional sadness. I also like to diffuse it with peppermint. I did that this afternoon. Oh, lemon oil is my go-to for cleaning and helping. Um, I make a lot of DIY project or, uh, products with lemon essential oil. It really helps remove any sticky adhesives, those price tags. Just put one drop right on the product and slide it off. It helps with greasy stuff in your kitchen, um, stains in your clothes. Um, and I always put a daily drop in my water to help detox my body. Okay, another one, peppermint. This one I always have in my purse in a roller ball like this because I always want to have it on hand. Peppermint essential oil, you can see it's the dietary one, so you can use it all three ways. And peppermint is great. It has um, like a cooling effect. I actually made a spray bottle with several drops of peppermint and water. And I keep it with me um, when I work out because it has like a cooling effect when my body is hot, but it also invigorates me and kind of like perks me up and energizes me. So I love that. You can even apply it. This one you're going to want to always dilute with a carrier oil because it, it has, it's a hot oil. It's, it will burn your skin. This would be great though with just kind of, um, you can put on topically for fatigued muscles after you've exercised or any physical activity. It provides a cooling, soothing sensation. Maybe your neck, your shoulders. Oh, I want to do that right now. Even your scalp. You can put this in your shampoo. Um, you can diffuse this to have a focused environment. I love um, mixing like this, like I said, with lemon or orange. And it's like my favorite focus roller ball. Um, 
it can be inhaled um, when you need um, a refreshing experience, especially if you kind of are stuffy. Um, another tip, you can use it to make a breath spray with distilled water and a few drops of this. Um, and if you take it internally, it can definitely help um, you for any occasional upset stomach or digestion. It just um, very good for that. So you can put this in water or tea. Ooh, peppermint um, mocha. Mm -hmm. Oh, peppermint brownies. There's so many good ways to bake with it. Okay. I can go on, of course. I'm trying to be brief. So frankincense. Ooh, I love frankincense. All of these I've used so much. Frankincense is very valuable, and I'm so thankful it's in the starter kit because it's a great deal. You don't have to dilute this one. It is fine to apply it directly on your skin. When you... Put this on your um, body, and sometimes I put a drop on my head in the morning. It just gives you um, a promote a feeling of well-being, um, relaxation, or grounding. Um, I like to diffuse this um, for bedtime too. I'm already just feeling more relaxed. I always it's like a treat. I put this one drop in my nightly moisturizer and put it on my face because it's so great for your skin and um, it helps the appearance of healthy looking skin and the appearance of uneven skin tone, helps with aging skin. This is great to diffuse during meditation or Bible study. Um, oh, it could be used as a massage or after activity. Um, and it just, when you take it internally, even though it's a red label, it could be um, taken internally and it supports well-being, normal cell health, so many other reasons you have to look it up, okay? Oh, I love that. I can't wait to go to bed soon and put that on. Just breathe in it. It's like a face diffuser. That's what I feel like. Okay. Oh, another one of my favorites is Copaiba. <clears throat> it's right here. What I've been talking about so far, all the single oils, it just has one essential oil in it. And after this, yeah, then we go to blends. So Copaiba. It can also be taken internally. Um, dilution's not required unless you have really sensitive skin. This is an excellent um, oil for your skin care regimen. Um, I don't do that enough, so I'm glad I was reminded myself here. I wear it topically as a perfume since it just gives an emotional, calming, securing, grounding feeling. It has a sweet, woodsy earthy smell. I love it. Um, I also frequently diffuse this during bedtime. Um, oh, this is a neat little quick recipe. You can put this, a few drops um, of Copaiba, maybe five, six, seven, with a half cup Epsom salts and soak in the bath after strenuous um, activity. It definitely helps with achiness take this internally when you, when i've been um below the wellness line i make a tea of some hot water honey and a drop of copaiba it tastes delicious and it just gets me feeling better um the best property about this though it is a magnifier or intensifier what that means is when you add it with another essential oil it will enhance it can enhance these properties of the other essential oil so it's like you'll layer so let's say i want to have more um, smooth appearance of skin. And so I put on my frankincense, but then I layer Copaiba on top. And so it will make the frankincense work even harder, better. Let's say um, I'm kind of sore after some kind of activity. I use Panaway. We'll learn about that in a minute. And then I put Copaiba on top and it will drive the Panaway in and make it work um, better, more intensified. It. So I love Copaiba. Um, Let's talk about Citrus Fresh. It just makes me happy thinking about this. I diffuse this frequently for an uplifting, fresh scent. It gets all the stinkiness out. Um, um, recently, a couple days ago, I burnt something and then friends were coming over in a couple of minutes. I'm like, ah! So I just quickly diffused this and my friends said they didn't notice any burnt smelling. Um, you can add this to any um, bath and shower gel and it will give you a nice uplifting aroma, especially if you take a shower in the morning. 
you could put it on your dryer, your wool dryer balls um, in your laundry. I don't make it small, but anything um, stinky, you could put this on a, a, cotton, a drop on a cotton ball, stinky shoes or gym bag, and it will smell better. It could be worn as a perfume or cologne um, and just be in refreshing throughout the day or on a diffuser necklace. That's even better because then you don't um, have to worry about the sun. Um, yeah, those lots of good ways. Oh, and one thing that I, when I was researching Citrus Rush, I forgot how, and I haven't done this, um, it could apply, be applied topically to beautify the skin and help healthy toned skin. I'm going to try that. Okay. So this is a blend. That means it has several, I forgot, it has to tell you that it has several different um, oils in there. And so you can look on the back and read on the label. It's mostly several citrus and spearmint in there. Okay, let's talk about Panaway. It has a child lock because if a child drank the whole thing, it, it has a wintergreen in it. It's very hard to get out. As you can see, I'm struggling. And... <laughs> and it has kind of similar properties as aspirin, I guess. That's what I heard, winter breed. So just be careful with kids. So Panaway um, is great stimulating aroma. It has wintergreen and peppermint. Um, and um, it, it stimulates you. I like to diffuse it. Um, kind of wakes me up. It can be support the appearance of healthy skin coloration. And it could be... Definitely what I use it for is a sore muscles after working out. Uh, I like to dilute it. Um, I think that you need to dilute it. Um, and occasional aches can also be good. Um, you can even have a nice massage with it. So pan away. A lot of people say pain away. But uh, mm, I am glad I have pan away in my life. Um, another blend is Digize. It kind of sounds like, can you guess, digestion. So this is all about digestion. It is a um, vitality oil. You can take it internally. Okay, so Digize, um, you can apply it topically with a little bit of hickory oil and just rub on your stomach in a circular motion and it relieves any tummy problems, um, any digestive issues. You could take it internally in water or in a capsule and an idea is mix it with peppermint because that might taste better or even if it has a strong smell of ginger tarragon fennel um, and several few other oils peppermint but if you add it with peppermint that's such a strong sm nice smell um, it might help this oh is a must-have when you're traveling in a car in a plane or you're not sure about drinking the water, oops, put a drop in your water. Um, you just want that when you're traveling. Okay, and Raven. Raven, it has a nestle, one of those caps that I can't get out. I'm not going to try to pull it out. Raven is great, refreshing um, aroma. I have my bigger one here. I just want to smell it again. Mmm. I feel like kind of a spa experience. There's some eucalyptus in here, winter green, mm. and it's great for a comforting aroma when maybe applied to your uh, neck and chest. Make it into chest rub whenever you feel kind of stuffy. Yeah, Raven we have on hand. Um, definitely helps you breathe and just makes me happy. Okay, two more, and these two are, like all of these I love and are my favorites, but next one is these. Thieves is an essential oil named after of something that happened in a long time ago in Europe when there was a plague. These thieves or robbers were robbing the dead and dying from the plague, but they did not get the, the plague or get sick. And the reason was because they were spice motions and they put um, cinnamon, cloves, rosemary, lemon stuff all over them and it protected them. So that's what the legend is. And the king gave them leniency because he... Um, the robbers told their secret. So that's where we get thieves from. It's a wonderful Christmas um, autumn spice smelling blend. Um, it's great diffused. Um, um, around any time that you, what it does is give overall um, 
I want to make sure I say the right thing, <clears throat> contributes to wellness and healthy immune function. So I add a drop in my daily coffee. Or you could put it in oatmeal, applesauce, ooh, warm apple cider. Um, our family applies it um, almost daily to the bottom of our feet in a rollerball. We all have our rollerballs by our bed, and we put it on before bed. Anytime is fine, too. And then when we don't feel so hot, maybe a few times a day. Um, it's just lovely to diffuse it because it smells so good. And it's pretty strong, so it will purify the air when you have any kind of um, strong odors. Um, it could be added to your mouthwash for a boost of freshness, okay? So that's a few reasons to use these. Um, then, a great one, remember, in the bottom of the box, don't forget, is Stress Away. Just like it says, Stress Away. It takes the stress away. Um, and this has vanilla, lime, a little lavender, and a couple other oils in there. So those are all of the starter kit oils. I hope that helped. I'm going to put this back just like that. I hope that helped and gave you some ideas on what to do. What I challenge you to do is just use one oil, try to use one oil a day and try to change it up too. Diffuse, that's the easiest thing. Each day, try one different oil in your starter kit um, and to diffuse and see what you and your family like. And then kind of like blend some. Let's do lemon and peppermint. How about lavender and lemon? Or frankincense and um, cobayuba. Um, and write them down. And maybe a little note later if I liked it or not, how many drops I put in. So then you remember. Um, another thing I challenge you to do is if you're not just wanting to diffuse, look something up in your reference guide. I'm like, whatever you're going through, then look up what you need. Um, there will be a list of several um, essential oils or Young Living products that could help you. And just start with what you have, of course. And then maybe you want to start making a list of some oils that you want to buy in for your next purchase. Make like a wish list. Um, um, yeah. And another thing, um, I always love to help. So if you have questions or you want to go over some health needs or goals. I love talking about essential oils and your living. Um, I love to talk about a healthy lifestyle. So you can email me at moilisawright at gmail.com. So that's M O I L O I L and then I S S A. M O I L I S A. M O I L I S S A. Right. W R I G H T at gmail.com and I would love to talk and get back to you and help you. So thanks for um, watching this and I hope it was helpful. Um, contact me if you have more questions or want more types of videos. All right, good night. Use those oils.